Okay, um, well, today I was going to do a, a um, re review of everything that was done. I have a lot of new people, and I thought a review would be a good idea. But as you can see, if I go outside, I'm going to get blown away. It reminds me of Rollins. Not quite as bad as Rollins, but it does remind me that uh, of Rollins. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, probably just work on this Faraday case a little bit more and do laundry. I do need to do laundry. You can probably hear the wind in here. Uh, this might be here today. It's still working fine, no problem. I wonder if the choke had anything to do with that. So it would have normally locked up by now, charging at six amps on those two panels. Right now, overall charge is 40 amps and uh, 12.42 amps on the 110 and 12 volts is putting out uh, 2.35 so everything's doing pretty good I'm gonna on this thing I'm gonna bend these edges up on the bottom so these cables can go through without touching anything I'll have to get some wire ties. I have some wire ties, but they're really cheap for this side. And figure out how I'm going to put that in there so it looks, looks halfway neat. This is not where it's going to end up. It's actually going to be out about right here. It's going to be a pretty big hole on this side, so I'll have to get it covered up. <coughs> Need to put a light in underneath here, which won't be a problem. Be pretty easy, really. And Sheldon, what a dog. Then today I'm going to work on this wall. <coughs> Get that one done <coughs> and move one of these, one of these steel things over to here on this side and that will open up that section of wall and get it more the way it's going to end up when it's all done. So probably ought to get started, get the laundry going at least. My laptop finally came up. I'm going to um, start my geocaching stuff first. That's a daily thing. I got hundreds of thousands of geocaches in my GPS for to go and find just in case I happen to get out on the bike and go somewhere. I guess there's a big fire at Capitan with all this wind I doubt it I don't doubt it a bit. All it takes is a spark and it's gonna spread. Well, back door, uh, I'll be around here somewhere. Okay, went to the store and got a few things that I needed to work on this uh, Faraday cage. Forgot to get any bolts when I was down there the other day. Um, I plugged in the CB and I'll keep it out here for a while because I'm going to plug it back in. I got the replacement um, whatever this doodad is. <laughs> Anyhow, I got it. The charge controller. And I'm going to go ahead and get that put on. It's only 58 degrees. It's uh, 48 outside and 58 inside. It hasn't dropped below 58 inside. So, insulation's working good. Um, I'm going to get that charge controller installed first. Let's see if this one's still working. 
This is actually the first charge controller. This one here was the first charge controller we put in. And uh, it's working 15 amps. It's never been quite right. It's always had some kind of an issue. So that's how big that is going to be. The uh, inverter is not connected to the um, to the cage at all. That's the way it's supposed to be. Should check it with an old meter, make sure I didn't get any screws in the wrong place or anything. Might just do that real quick. We're at 43 amps on the charge, 9 amps on 110, and 1.87 on DC. So how am I going to get busy on that? We'll be back. Okay, I got that one replaced. I've got Let's see, the roof is not charging, the roof is not charging, the east is not charging, and the roof is not charging, but west is charging at about 18 amps. These are just cycling. Then watch them say here, cycling. This one here will flash three or four times, and this one will flash three or four times. Pretty cool. So this, the east, is at 18 amps. We're showing 19 amps over there. Roof, this one's just flashing off and on. This one's just flashing really quick. And the east, Probably doesn't have much light, so it may not be wanting to do anything. And the other roof isn't doing anything right now either. So that's pretty cool. I like it. So now I'm going to bolt that together. I got bolts here for it. And uh, get the end pieces on. And I ordered <coughs> some seven millimeter, some fives, and some blah, 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 speak temp. I think these are threes, that's why they won't fit. So I ordered some fives and some sevens for the chokes. And I have one in my hand here that I dropped somewhere. So I'm going to put it on, and, uh, and we might make a dent in it. I, I just kind of think I'm beating my head against the wall on this interference thing. I'm going to go ahead, i got to find the filter for the input side of this. I can, it's in a ham radio article and uh, see if that helps also. There's another filter I can put on the output side, but I don't want to do too much work to it. Maybe eventually, a little bit at a time. I've got other stuff that I want to do here too. But anyhow, back to work. Now I'm working, <coughs> working on this up here. I'm going to Take it back down, it's loose now, and uh, put in a piece of foam or insulation, rubber, that stuff. Behind it, uh, I discovered that I had uh, continuity between here and here, and I'm not supposed to. So I'm going to do what I can to get rid of that. Um, don't know why, but I do. Anyhow, I am going to try something real quick. With the CB. I just have a bad feeling I'm not going to be able to get rid of this buzz. Turn it 
turn this light off. Okay. A lot of skip, but no buzz. It's a sideband radio. I don't know if anybody knows how to use sideband on CB. It's been a while since I've done it. But channel 40, I think it was 35 to 40 were sideband channels. 36. Let's uh, remember how to do this. Not hearing a peep. Back down to 19. When I first got into sideband, it was 16 and 17 that were the sideband channels. When I first got into CB. Actually, the first CB I had was a like a two channel. It had channel 9 and channel 11 built into it. Had to buy crystals to change those. Crystals were $20 a piece. And then I got a three channel and I put seven, 19, and nine in it. And uh, then a 19, or yeah, what was it, 23 channel, which cost me a bundle. Eh, it was fun back then. All right, I'm going to go back there and play. Okay, this is just with the inverter plugged in. Not too bad at all, really. The inverter's plugged in and turned on. I um, did not hook up the house to it yet. I used shorter screws here. I made sure that it wasn't making any contact with these screws that are holding the wood on. And I put a rubber bumper underneath it, insulator. But it's on right now. And I did that on all, all four of those. Then I retested between here and there, and there's no continuity in that. Now, I don't expect it to work yet, but eh, we can always try, hope for the best. I'm going to take that apart before I hook this up and lay it up in here so that it's out of the way. And I'll be back. What, did I forget to press record? Or did I say that C word? Anyhow, I, I put all that up there. Got it out of the way. And uh, I'm still getting the uh, inverter noise, 
with the house plugged in. I went in there and turned on the CB and there's really not much change. But I did check continuity between these and there's nothing between here and here. I think what I'm going to do though is check it again with that plugged in to see if maybe it's inducing something or who knows. I have forgotten more about this stuff than a lot of people know. Um, you know, I don't know. No big deal. But uh, let me see what uh, what I can do to get rid of some of this. I'll be back. Okay, I'm kind of giving up on the Faraday cage for tonight. Uh, worked on it almost all day and got nowhere. I think baby is stuck out here in the back. I still have one corner of it to do. Come on, baby. Let's go ahead and turn the light on. Uh, where's the switch? Okay, uh, I'm going to hinge that corner. Grounding does no good. Makes it actually worse. Um, kind of just tired of it. Uh, I've dealt with this before. Rollins' power is horrible. Um, getting them to come out and do anything about it is horrible. Uh, when I first moved into my house, I had I couldn't do anything on HF and quite a bit of VHF. Couldn't listen to shortwave at all, and it was all because uh, there was a something hanging. It was a uh, spiral from a notebook hanging on one of the lines, and I could see it. I called him up, and I told him, and I told him, and I told him, I couldn't get anything done. Finally, one day, I, caught, I was working for the cable company, and I got one of the people over there and told them that's, that's what's causing problems over here. And they fixed it, but uh, I had to physically show them the problem in order to get it done. But uh, that's not their problem here, it's my problem. So i got to figure out what to do about it. Uh, I'll get it figured out. I'm just going to take a break from it for a year or two. So, got to put away some tools. Keep finding, finding bits hiding all over the place. Place for everything and everything in its place. I hate clutter. And it's pretty cluttered in here. So, I'm going to give up for the evening and there's a fair chance I might go back to Colorado tomorrow. I really don't want to, but I may. I've got to figure out what to have for dinner tonight. If I go back, I won't be back for a week. Probably not until next Monday. Not next Monday, but the following Monday. I need to try and find a pickup truck, too. I'm tired of uh, not having one when I need it. Could have bought a door today for this uh, screen. Or this door. A screen door for this door, and didn't have any way to get it home. Anyhow, wherever baby is, I had to get him in here and give up for the evening. Y'all have fun now.